this. Um, so what we have done so far is this. We have actually multiplied, uh, we have converted C9 into polynomial form, 0, 3 into polynomial form, and we have multiplied x. So I get x to the 8, x to the 7, x to the 4, and then x. And then I have multiplied x, 1, by x to the 7, x to the 6, x to the 3. Now in uh, here we are using Galois field 2, modular 2 arithmetic. So whatever the same, I'm going to cross. If I have something different, I'm going to keep it. So here, x7 and x7 is gone. What else is gone? All the rest are remaining. So I left with x to the 8, x to the 6, x to the 4, plus x to the 3, plus x, plus 1. Now, here's the thing that you need to do. Um, remember the first result when we multiplied Fe by 0, 1, we got x to the 7. The highest polynomial degree we got is x to the 7. Here we got x to the 6. Now, here's the problem. We have something called x to the 8, x to the 6, x to the 4, 3, x plus 1. Now, here what we need to do, we need to use something called uh, irreducible prime, which was x to the 8. Um, which was x to the 8, so this is x to the 8, x to the 4, x to the 3, plus x plus 1. This is what we're going to use. This is actually irreducible prime that is being used, prime, which is being used in AES to reduce this down. Whatever the answer that we're getting, we're going to reduce this down to um, x to the uh, to, to the lowest possible degree. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip my page. I'm going to get another one. And then we're going to do this. So what we have done so far is this. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this C9 value, which is right here. Uh, C9 multiplied by 0, 3, which is x to the 8 plus x to the 6 plus x to the 4 plus x to the 3 plus x plus 1. And we're going to do a long division with a reducible prime, which is x to the 4 plus x to the 3 plus x plus 1. And then we're going to try to reduce this. All right. And the way we're going to do it, that I need to get this degree lower than this. So what do I need to multiply to get this? I need to multiply this by 1. All right. So the, I'll get x to the 8 plus x to the 4 plus x to the 3 plus x plus 1. All right. Uh, I'm going to do modulo 2 arithmetic here. So this will cross. This will cross. This will cross. This, 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 this will be gone. All I left with is x to the 6. So right here, when I multiply them together, and when I do an irreducible prime, this thing would turn out to be x to the 6. So this will be what? x to the 6. Now, I have one more thing to do, if you remember it, from here. From here. I need to multiply 63 by 0, 1 as well. So I'm going to do this here. So the fourth one that I'm going to do the fourth one that I'm going to do is I'm going to do it here. So 63 multiplied by 0, 1. Okay, what is 63, guys? 63 is 0, 1, 1, 0. This is 6. And 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. In polynomial form, this is going to be 1 plus x. So this is x to the 1, x to the 2, x to the 3, x to the 4, x to the 5, x to the 6 x to the 5 plus x to the 6 and 0 1 is just 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 so this is just going to be 1 all right so x to the 0 any number raised to 0 is 1 and I have bit 1 1 multiplied by 1 is just 1 so I'm going to multiply this together 63 multiplied by 0 1 I'll get the same thing back, which is x to the 6 plus x to the 5 plus x plus 1 multiplied by 1. I'll get the same thing back. All right, now I got four results. So let me write those down. 
Um, let me write those results down and then we're going to do it. So when I multiply Fe times 0, 1, I've got, what did I get? I get x to the 7, x to the 6, which is, I'm getting it from the previous page, x to the 6, x to the 5, x to the 4, x to the 3, x to the 2, I'm sorry, you guys were not seeing this. So this is the result that I'm trying to copy, which is this, x to the 2 plus x, when I multiply 26 times 0, 2, I got x to the 6, x to the 3, x to the 2. All right, when I multiplied c9 by 0, 3, I got x to the 6. This is the result that we have gotten after taking a long division, after doing long division. And then this is the result I got when I multiply 63 by 0, 1. So, by 0, 1, which was x to the 6, x plus 1. Now, in modular 2, in, in Galois field 2 to the 8, we're doing something called modular 2 arithmetic. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to perform modular 2 arithmetic, and we're going to get the results. Okay. So this guy has four x6s. It has one x7. So I'm going to bring this x x7 out. But I have four of these. So one plus one plus one plus one is four, and four mod two is zero. So I don't need to write it. So this will cross out. I've got two x5s. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 mod 2, 2 mod 2 is 0, so this I don't need to write. x to the 4, I got a single x to the 4, I got it here, so I'm going to bring this x to the 4 out here. And uh, what do I have? I have 3, 2 x3s, so these will be cross out. I've got two x2s which will cross out, and then I have two x's which will cross out. So I'll end up with one. So let's transform this. So when I transform using mixed column, okay, when I transform using mixed column, 26 is x to the 7 plus x to the 4 plus 1 and quickly let's do this what is x to the 7 is 1 x to the 6 is 0 x to the 5 is 0 x to the 4 is 1 all the rest are zeros and 1 all right so what is this uh, 8 plus 1 is 9 and this is just 1 so this should be my answer when I transform this into mixed column. So let's verify this real quick from the book. So let's do the verification real quick. This is what we have got so far. We got 91 when we transform x to the 626. When I transform 26 using mix column, I got 91. So let's look at it here. So here's the table for it. Look at my 26, and this 26 is transformed into 91 using mix column. All right. I hope you guys are seeing it. This 26, what we just calculated uh, using the mathematical tools. That this has transformed 26 into 91 and indeed this is the answer we we're getting uh, I hope you like this small video uh, in different parts because my video was were quite long uh, and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions leave it in the comment section